Hey everyone, welcome back. As you guys can see, I am opening up this 1-1 scale from Pochita from Chainsaw Man. Uh, this one is a really big box, but the thing is it doesn't weigh much. I know people probably expect it to be pretty heavy, but it's, it's really light. So uh, I didn't have a screenshot, but I'm gonna try to show you guys a screenshot from uh, my favorite collection to let you guys know um, they someone did put like the estimate so D, uh, EMS so which is Japan Post is around 19k uh, DHL is like 26k and then like the bow is like 9k so whoever on my favorite collection I don't remember the name but whoever I put up here thank you for putting it up there I will I'll try to be better when it with stuff like this but I just always forget but uh, I'm surprised because this really is like light and I felt like DHL should have been a lot cheaper. I know it's a bigger box, but DHL from what I remember or from what I understand is it's it's by the weight. So I felt like DHL should have been uh, cheaper, um, especially because this is a big box. It came in a really big box. You guys can tell from my, uh, my thumbnail that it's, it's really big. So um i'm surprised the the price with it of uh, just because it doesn't weigh that much i knew it was going to be expensive because it's a one one scale it's my first one ever i didn't know how much it was going to be but i knew it was going to be expensive but overall it was, it was pretty okay i guess compared to what i expected to pay for um it's not anything like too bad i guess to say um but i know a lot of people probably won't get it because of the the shipping but we're gonna see if it's worth it, um, especially because I'm going to get other Chainsaw figures, Chainsaw Man figures. Uh, so if you guys want to see those openings, I will be opening. So if you guys want to subscribe, let me know which ones you guys are gonna get, uh, and then hopefully I get the same ones and we can and we can uh, see which ones you guys like better. So uh, the ones that I do have is the Chainsaw Man, uh, the Denji, the one that should be releasing this month in July. I'm not quite sure if that's gonna still happen. Um, we only have a few days in July, so hopefully it does some crossing fingers. I was going to do the video together, but this one arrived a lot sooner, so I, I did it separately. I do have Aki, the one where he's sitting down from the Theos. Um, I do have Power, I believe, is from Furyu. I don't quite remember. I'll, I'll put it up here, but it's the one when she's standing up with her like, like hammer. Uh, like her blood hammer, um, not the one that just got released. That one looks terrible. I saw it on Reddit. Whoever bought it, I'm sorry. Uh, I could. I don't have the Eastern Power uh, on order. I just didn't like that one so much. I did go back and look at the Aki from Eastern, the one with this Fox Devil. That one, I've gone back and forth. I really do like the Fox Devil. I love that it's there. The Aki Space is the one that I don't know much about, but if I have this one, I have Power, I have Chainsaw Man, I might, I, I don't have Makama yet, I don't know which one I want first, but if I get, if I have them, I feel like I want to get the other Aki with the Fox Devil. So if you guys want to see those, definitely subscribe, so you guys can be, be aware of when I'm opening it and when it comes out, so you guys can also see it too. And if you guys aren't going to get them, or you guys just want to see them, definitely you'll be able to see it. But this one does look really good i'm hoping i know it's basically simple but i know you can move it so we'll, we'll see how it goes so i'm going to try to open this one up so you guys can see just the size i'll try to also bring in my like 1a scale 1 7 scale other figures like that so we can see the size difference between them so i want to show you guys it, the unboxing or the, of the plastic it really is uh nothing too special it just has the pachita uh, and then there's nothing extra parts. I love that it's double wrapped with the bubble wrap at first It is Really well protected as you guys can see and then it also has the little plastic bag underneath too So love the double la layer of protection really like that because Didn't want put you to be scratched or anything like that. So you guys can see it's really easily taken care of And here it is look how big this guy is I, expect, I, I knew it was gonna be big, I knew it was gonna be big, but I didn't expect it to be like this. So as you guys can see, it is ginormous. So I'm gonna eventually show you guys the like a 1A scale and then I'm trying to remember what other figure I have as a 1-7 scale, I'm not quite sure, but I'll find that out. And then 
I'm gonna actually bring you guys out one of my statues. It's gonna be the Grim John one. It's a one six one because it's like the easiest one to move. But I'm gonna compare it so you guys can see the difference in size. So, but this is a one one that I know Pachita. It Pachita. I'm hoping that's how I'm saying it right. Is a really small. It's a little doggy. Um, so it's an adorable one. So I'm hoping um, that this like is able to fit in the detox. I'll show you guys too, but um, this one is gonna be really, really big. So they did come with these instructions. The only thing that it is, is like that you're able to move his legs and you're also be able to move the, the tail, I believe. Um, yeah, or move it, yeah, turn it to the side, I guess. You can't actually move it up and down, it's just to the side. Um, but other than that, yeah, I know this one really isn't uh, anything too special but because it doesn't really have much but it does have a lot of cool things so as you guys can see the front the chainsaw it, it has a pretty like nice texture to it it's pretty smooth um also pochita is also really smooth like he doesn't have any texture it's just smooth um nothing like like i don't know how to explain it but like there's nothing rough there you go there's nothing rough about it it's just nice texture they do have these little chainsaw right here they are not pointy they don't hurt they're just like plastic so if you guys are worried about that one it actually isn't dangerous oh i mean obviously anything can be dangerous but it isn't anything to where like it's sharp can like damage you or anything like that so if you guys were worried about it it really isn't um it does have the handle up here so you're able just to pick it up pretty easily like i told you it is very very light um i don't know how heavy it is i I feel like like this Rengoku that I had from Belfine is heavier. Um, the the uh, I can't think of it. The uh, Rika with uh, with Yuta is heavier. This one's pretty light. So and then here, like I said, here's the tail. You can move it. Um, nothing too special. And then there's like a handle back here as well for Pochita. Um, so there, there's two little handles. There's nothing crazy about it. And then, like I said, you're able to move the legs, the hind legs, um, here. So you can see just him standing right here, nothing crazy. And then you can move his legs a little bit up and then you should be able. So I'm sorry, I'm doing it pretty <laughs> rough here, but I know you can do it more where he's on laying on his butt so so the yep there you go as you guys see there is him kind of leaning back a little bit with his butt um to it so and then i do want to show you guys the little front right here cute little face i love the eyes are huge they're very big um with this cute little mouth right here it's it's pretty adorable so i actually didn't want i didn't read the manga i didn't know anything really about it and spoiler alert, just in case you guys haven't seen it, so just go a few seconds. Um, I'll probably say like 30 seconds maybe, but I didn't know he was gonna give up his life. Like I didn't know this devil was, I thought it was just like, they were going to like show him. I thought they were both chainsaw. I don't know why, but I didn't know they were gonna kill him. Or I guess he gave himself up. So I didn't know that. So that kind of sucks. Hopefully they do some like flashbacks. So you can see him more. I know he like, I think they did like one, but I'm hoping they do more. So overall, this is great. I do want to show you guys the detox, see if it fits. I do have one at the very bottom on this detox right here to see if it fits. I want to show you guys, um, and hopefully it does. As you guys can see, his chainsaw is a little over the pole. Uh, when he's all the way in the back, I couldn't fit him any other way. As you guys can see, yep. It doesn't fully close. It's the, the detox still hits it. the glass does. So I did put him on his hind legs just sitting down. And it's still a little over the pull, but it can still fit just fine. Like the glass isn't hitting the chainsaw part. So it does, as you guys can see how close it is, but it isn't quite hitting it. So this is probably how I'm going to leave it just sitting like this. So here is the 1 8 scale of uh, Gojo next to 1 1 Pochita. I, I think it is really close, but as you guys can see, just how big Pochita looks compared to the 1 8 scale of Gojo. So I really like the difference in it. I don't actually have a 1 7 scale. I do, but 
I really didn't want to go look for it and try to find it. So um, I did would just go with one eighth, and then here's the one sixth of Grimjow. As you guys can see, Grimjow really is only big because of his base, but it's still you guys can see the difference of him of the body of Grimjow compared to the body of Pochita. So I really do like the comparison between the one six scale and the one one for Pochita. I think this one probably is the better uh comparison i think especially with, uh, instead of the like one seventh um of a statue compared to a figure so definitely looks really good i love just the size differences between both of them so as you guys can see again amazing figure my first one one scale is really big very surprised by it but i really enjoy it i think it's gonna look good in my detox with my other chainsaw figures I know because they're going to have so many other ones, I'm going to have to find a different place to put them. And, but I'll figure it out. I know I'll, I'll be able to put them all together. But if, I th if you guys do want to get it, I know the price is a little rough with the shipping, but I think it's cool. So um, again, if you guys want to see more Chainsaw Man figures, I am going to get most of them. So subscribe, try to see what you guys find. I know I will also have other figures out there that hopefully you guys are able to find. I have slowed it back a little bit. Unless I find like good deals on statues, good deals on like Portrait of Pirates and Maximums, which I'm trying to get. I know I did get a thousand subscribers. I appreciate it. I do want to do a special video for for that just because I never thought I was going to be able to get a thousand subs. So thank you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys can see how big this is and you guys are able to do some of your determination of if you guys want to get it or not. So definitely try to... Think about it because it is a really cool uh, figure. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time.